Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Prior to nuclear magnetic resonance, or NMR, scientists had difficulty confirming their chemical reactions. Whilst they were aware of what they wanted their desired products to be, there weren't a lot of precise ways to confirm they had carried out the right reaction. This is where nuclear magnetic resonance comes into play. So, what is nuclear magnetic resonance? All atoms have a nuclei made up of protons and neutrons. When an atom has an odd mass number, which is the sum of its protons and neutrons, they attain a property called spin. This makes them observable using nuclear magnetic resonance. The protons in the nuclei means that the nuclei is a positively charged particle which is able to spin on its own axis. This allows the nuclei to create its own magnetic field which would normally have a random orientation. However, when they are placed in an external magnetic field, the magnetic field of the nuclei either align with or against this new magnetic field. When aligned, it is known as the alpha spin state, but when the nuclei is against the magnetic field, it is known as the beta spin state. The alpha spin state is more stable as it requires less energy to align than to go against the external magnetic field. A lot of energy is required to switch the nuclei from the alpha spin state to the beta spin state. Particular frequencies of radio waves can cause the nuclei to flip from one spin state to another. If the nuclei falls back from the beta state to the alpha state, it can emit radio frequency energy. Resonance occurs when a perfect frequency is reached and the nuclei absorb the energy of the radio waves. How can nuclear magnetic resonance be measured? A detector such as a magnetic resonance spectrometer measures the frequency and intensity of the radio wave that's absorbed and plots it on a spectrum. The chemical environment surrounding the nuclei affects how the nuclei absorbs radio waves and as a result, different molecules absorb different radio waves in different ways. So, one can reconstruct the molecular structure of these chemicals by studying the nuclear magnetic resonance spectrum of the absorbed waves. Applications of Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Nuclear magnetic resonance has applications in different fields such as pharmaceuticals, energy materials such as batteries, polymers, food and cosmetics. For example, it is used in MRI, otherwise known as magnetic resonance imaging scans, which is a non-invasive and non-destructive diagnostic tool for imaging soft tissues such as the brain, heart and muscles, and for discovering tumours in many organs. And that concludes this video on nuclear magnetic resonance. Thank you for listening.